Nothing excites me more to a group of normal people than to talk about the Arrhenius equation. Don't, don't you? you? You've all heard of it, right? No. No. I, this is, of course not. You're educated in the United States. This is the third most famous equation of physics. What, what are the first? Well, Newton's laws, right? What are the second? Einstein. And what's the third? This. Okay, let, let me show it to you. I mean, doesn't it just take your breath away? <laughs> All right. Here's what you got to know. When you have little things above big things, danger will Robinson danger. This means that things are a whoosh as opposed to rrr. So it means they're exponential. They're not linear. Exponential means things go bad really, really, really quickly. Linear is just, yeah, well, or whatever, all right? So, eh, whatever is different than whoosh. Whoosh, bad, eh, I can deal with. But we have to deal with whoosh. And Arrhenius was a, a Swedish guy, won the Nobel Prize in Physics the turn of the last century, which was a big scandal because he was a chemist. Nothing irritates the physics community more than a chemist coming in and kicking, kicking ass, because Physicists view chemists the way that um, the medical community views holistic medicine, right? You got, or you know, you know, a bunch of amateurs who don't know stuff. And so he came in and he just magic stuff. So let me describe what it really means. For every 10 degree K, that's 10 degrees C Celsius, 18 degrees Fahrenheit using Joe math, which is a field of mathematics I invented, that's around 20 degrees. So every 20 degree Fahrenheit increase in temperature, you double the likelihood of bad things happening. You double the likelihood of bad things happening. So um, a black roof operates at 180 degrees in July. A white roof operates at 120 degrees in July. Which membrane will last longer? White membrane. Um, but which roof lasts longer? The black roof, because it got really hot. And so, because it gets really hot, it has an insanely high drying potential. So the membrane doesn't last as long, but the roof assembly does. When we started changing the colors from black roofs to white roofs, we ended up having to introduce air barriers and vapor barriers underneath the insulations because the wetting potential and drying potential were now out of whack. White roof systems have to be constructed differently than black roof systems.